The following screencast will provide you with a demonstration of the Acknowledge Automated Analysis Routine for converting digital inputs to STEM events. There are many programs that are used for presenting different forms of stimulation or stimuli to subjects and quite often they provide digital outputs that the MP hardware can capture and save for further analysis. And those programs are Superlab, E-Prime, Presentation, Vizard, and many others. And this particular file we're looking at contains three channels of digital event marker information which are used to indicate when stimuli were presented to a subject. Now this analysis routine is located in the main analysis menu in the sub-menu stim response and in the digital input to stim events file name. When you launch the the routine the first thing you're asked to do is to define where your event marks are located. Now in the Biopack hardware you have 16 digital channels of data and they're in two blocks of eight. So you can select the first block D0 through 7, the second block 8 through 15, or you can just select all digital lines. Alternatively, you can specify the channels that you're interested in. And this also gives you the option of using analog channels. If you have some analog marker information, as long as it's 0 to 5 volts, you can convert that data over as well. In this case, we've got three channels, channel 20, channel 22, and channel 27, that contain digital information. We hit OK. We're then asked to enter a transition latency period, and that allows you to identify combinations of events as one particular type of stimuli. In other words, if you have a digital mark on the first channel and you have a corresponding one on the second and the third, it will recognize them as being one particular event providing, and I'm going to use 50 milliseconds, providing the three marks occur within 50 milliseconds of one another. And that latency can be, can be very useful if you're capturing digital information from a parallel port where sometimes there's a little bit of a latency between the different channels and this just allows you to overcome that problem. So I'm using 50 milliseconds for my window. I'm going to hit OK. Now the software is going to go through and locate the different types of stimuli and label them accordingly. And If you look along the global event bar, you can see there are a number of light bulbs. Those light bulbs are the marker type for a STIM event. And eventually what will happen once it's finished identifying the different types, it will just leave the appropriate labels there ready for further analysis. So now if we take our magnifying glass and we zoom in over an area of data like so. And we can see this is uh, event type 1, event type 4, event type 2, event type 6. These two are deemed to be together. Event type 1, event type 2. So it's gone through and it's identified and marked and labeled them all event type 4 for the bottom channel. And so now we can use that data for further analysis. And if you use the electrodermal event related EDA analysis, that particular routine will use these stimulus events to identify the different types of events and then it will measure the skin conductance responses relative to the 
stimuli that was presented. So it's a very useful tool and it's used also in the find peak so you can look for events it's going to ask for the event type and if we go to stim response we can set stim delivery so now the software will look for stimulus delivery events in the global bar and we can take measurements around those that concludes this demonstration of the acknowledged digital input to stim events routine